Hi students, coming to our next topic that is instruction code. So what do you mean by this instruction code? Instruction code is nothing but it is a group of bits. A group of bits you call it as instruction codes. Means they are in the form of ones and zeros like that. So instruction code is a group of bits that tells to the processor to perform some specific task. It, it says to the computer, it says to the computer to perform some specific task. So whatever the task is, it just saying to the computer to do some work. So here every computer has its own particular instruction code format. So whatever the computer you are taking, they are having their own instruction format. The simple way to organize the instruction code uh, by using two, with two parts. The instruction code can be organized into two parts. That is one opcode and next one is the address. So the complete instruction code will be divided into two parts. One is opcode and another is address so actually from where we are getting this instruction code in the memory the instruction will be present so from the memory we are getting the instruction code and that we are going to be converted into group of bits and that group of bits will be uh, read by the processor so actually this memory will be the size of 4096 into 16 so this is the size of the memory for the 16 bit uh, instructions so this memory will be divided into two parts so one holds the instruction program instruction program and another will holds the operand that is the data So memory is having instruction program and then is operand data. So here uh, actually this instruction code is of size 16 bit because it is having uh, 4096 into 16 memory location. So this instruction code format will be divided. It is a 16 bit address from 0 to 15. So in this 0 to 15, uh, 4096 means this is a 2 power 12 and 16 means 2 power 4. Means here the 12 bits specifies the, this 12 bits specifies the address part and this 4 bits specifies the opcode. So the instruction code will be divided into two parts one is address part and another is opcode so here the four bits will specify the opcode 0 to sorry 15 to 12 and the remaining 12 bits 0 to 11 will specify the address part so this is the instruction format This is the instruction format. Okay. So actually this instruction uh, is of three types. It's a memory reference instruction. Register reference instruction. or IO reference instruction. So this instruction which we are getting from memory or we can get from a register or it is of IO. So whatever the instruction that will be uh, is, of, is of three types. Memory reference instruction or it is a register reference instruction or it is a IO reference instruction. So based on this uh, 
instruction the processor will understand what type of instruction we are getting so uh, this instruction is coming from memory reference or it is from register reference or it is from IO reference okay so actually this instruction code can be of three types means it can be uh, it is in the format of like immediate address direct address indirect address so this instruction holds opcode and address so this opcode and address uh, will be of immediate or direct or indirect so based on the instruction the processor can understand uh, the instruction which it gets is whether the it is immediate data or it is a direct data or it is an indirect data immediate means it specifies actual operand so actual operand will be present in the immediate address means opcode opcode and direct operand so this is 0 to 11 12 to 15 so this is the immediate address opcode and operand direct operand will be present so then the processor understand this is an immediate address so what we are just getting the operand and it calculates the operation now coming to the direct address so what this direct address specifies Direct address specifies the address of operand. Address of operand. So we call it as an effective address. Effective address. So direct address holds the address of the operand. Here in this place 0 to 11. Address of, if address of the operand is present. Then we call it as a direct address. Means just uh, suppose this is a memory location so which I said here this is an instruction program instruction will be present so this instruction may be suppose add uh, suppose 430 this is some memory location so in the particular 430 you are having the actual operand actual data will be present so this is the memory location so in that memory location the instruction will be like this 0 add 430 430 here indicates the address of operand so this is the address of operand so where this address in this 430 location you are having the operand so here the 0 indicates it is a direct address so this is direct so in that particular address of operand uh, in this 430 is address in that particular address location you are having the operand this is the effective address you call it as a direct addressing now coming to indirect addressing indirect addressing specifies the address of memory word so it specifies the address of memory word in which address of operand is found so first it holds the address of memory word in that particular address of memory word address of operand is present again you have to go to that particular operand so it's look like this so this is the memory location So, but, uh, if it is an indirect addressing, you have to keep it as 15th bit is the I1 at 430 20. So, in that particular 430 location, you are having the address of the operand. So, again, you have to go to that particular address. There, you will find the actual operand. So, this is the indirect addressing so uh, this is the instruction in this instruction indirect address means address of memory word is a 430 in that address of memory word in which there is address of operand will be found so here the address of operand is 1250 
so in the particular uh, one two five zero location you will find the operand so this is the indirect addressing so these are the different formats of the instruction code thank you